Some of you may have heard of Overkill's hit game Payday 2. I myself am a big Payday 2 fan. But now, I can barely hear that name without thinking about suicide. Chapter 1. It begins. It all started a few days ago. Me and my friends were playing Payday 2 on our PCs when the topic of how Overkill got the idea and how the beta or alpha stages must have been like. We discussed for 5 hours and 30 minutes about the topic while playing the game and grinding Ukrainian job and everything came to the conclusion that we should get an alpha copy of the game on Steam and see how it was like. I searched for a copy for a long time around the internet and other stores but couldn't find anything. When I eventually found a garage sale on eBay that had a supposed alpha copy of the game, I visited the man who arranged the garage sale and he said that he was an intern at Overkill and that's how he got the copy of the game. He looked weird too. He had a long red beard, orange glasses, and soul-piercing green eyes. He also insisted that he was beard and he had somehow survived a nuking on San Diego and said nukings never happened. I asked him how much he wanted for the game and he said, you can take it for free. That game killed my friend Jacket, you know. You're probably next too if you play it. I ignored what he said, thinking that it was some sort of idiotic joke, and went back home with the game, of course. I told all my friends about the alpha copy I got, and gave them all digital copies too. We agreed that it would be best if we all played it together and experienced the magical Alpha Payday 2 experience experimentally together, because it would be more fun that way. But when I went to put the game in my computer, I noticed how the case looked. It was completely black with the words Payday 2 Alpha written on it, with a black sharpie. When I went to put the disc in my computer, my computer started to emit a loud screeching noise from its speakers as if it was screaming to not put the disc in. I should have listened to him. Chapter 2 Britman. I launched the game, and it had no music or intros. It just jumped straight into the title screen. I nearly shit myself when I saw it for the first time. The title read, Pain Day 2, and the only option available are murder. <coughs> Dallas the Dollar Grabber were looking straight at me with a red dot at the middle of his black eyes. I was level 666, and every skill tree was modified. The mastermind was called Evil Overlord, Enforcer, Doom Guy, Technician, I Am Become Death, and Ghost, Man Hitter. Instead of money, I had soul, and 1,000 of them. The offshore account was now Hell Account and I had six point in each tree. OMG, I screamed out loud to myself. What the fuck is this shit? I continued. I didn't know what to do, but since I had no choice, I clicked. Murder. And braced myself, knowing what was about to happen wouldn't be anything good. After I click it on murder, I went to straight to the preparation stage of a heist called Hoxton's Broken Bones. The description said, Britman failed Dallas, and Dallas hungers for more dollars make Britman pay. Who the hell is Britman, I thought to myself. I noticed I only had one weapon called Dallas's Pimp-Ass Gun, and it had no picture. I didn't have equipment, armor, anything really, except for my primary weapon, Dallas's Pimp-Ass Gun. With a sad tone. I'm sorry about this, guys. I tried to convince, or at least, delay him. But I didn't manage to do much. For now, just follow his lead and pray for the best. I don't think there's any salvation for us anymore. What the fucking shit is this emo crap? I yelled, and then noticed that old Hoxton was Britman. <coughs> oh no! I screamed. I loved old Hoxton and fantasized about him on a daily basis. No, he can't really be. There must be something I can do. I started the heist with a single tear rolling down my cheek. 
Bane said nothing, and the heist just started. I was playing as Dallas the Dollar Grabber, and it was a bank heist. There was blood everywhere. It was incredibly realistic, almost hyperly so. The objective said, nobody's innocent. Now, murder. <coughs> Dallas instantly put on his mask and said, you know, these are some real people, right? <laughs> now go and murder them. Dallas held his fingers up, pointing as if his hands were a pistol or something. I shoot once, and Dallas yells at the top of his lungs, BANG! Then a huge amount of flames came from his finger, as if it was a flamethrower. My god, his hands are weapons! His hands are nothing more but killing machines made to kill! I did the heist as normal. There were almost no enemies throughout the entire thing, and Dallas was very offensive towards his teammates, saying things like, Wolf, come here before I fuck your brains out, and whatnot. And his teammates acted scared, pleading every time that they made a mistake or even talked to Dallas at all. At the end of the heist, after we escaped, I got a call from my British friend saying that he was in a cosplay convention and that there was some guy dressed as Dallas watching him and he was scared. He kept talking about how there was something demonic about that Dallas and that he always watched without any eyes. Near the end of the conversation, he started to run and scream, and the conversation ended. After this, I looked at my screen and screamed in terror. Dallas was there, holding my friend. I watched in terror, and afterwards, he looked at me and said, Go. To. Sleep. After this, I chose a payday card. I got the Punisher mod for Dallas's pimp-ass gun and went to sleep. Chapter 3 Carnivore Canine I heard my friend was dead by unknown causes and had a nightmare where Dallas was chasing me yelling BANG and trying to burn me. After I woke up, my computer was already turned on and it had Payday 2 Alpha or Pain Day 2 on the screen. I almost shit myself again after I looked at it. Dallas was there again, watching me as I slept. And now, old Hoxton's disembodied head was there too, with a hyper-realistic tear running down his cheek. There was also a G and an arrow pointing towards Dallas. Hoxton's head looked hyper-realistic, as if someone actually killed someone and taped his head onto my screen. I had no choice. So I chose murder again, and this time, we went to a heist called Dancing with Carnivore Canines. Once again, no weapons. The description said, You have done well. Dallas is happy, but not my much. You don't satisfy Dallas the Dollar Grabber yet. Let's go hunting for wolves, shall we? I knew exactly what was about to happen. One of my friends was a bit mentally unstable, just like Wolf, great. Now another one of my beloved senpais was going to die, and my friends has to go with him. I cried many salty tears for them. And them I started the heist. This time, it was a four stores heist, and there was blood everywhere, just like the bank heist. Unlike the bank heist, however, we were stealing pieces of nuclear warhead, and the Hoxton wasn't present. What the hell did this monstrous Dallas want with a nuclear warhead? I was scared to go on, but I had no choose. Suddenly. Cloakers, millions upon millions of cloakers. Everybody died except Dallas. Even Bane said, Wolf is now in Hell's custody. And Jacket is in Hell's custody. And Dallas said, My dick is on the rise like fucking Sputnik! <coughs> he then ripped Wolf's head off. Once again, my friend died from unnatural causes. Only, I knew what had happened to him. And I was the only one who could stop this devil that is Dallas the Dollar Grabber. I did some research and discovered that Dallas was not the same Dallas I knew and loved. He was actually a demon from another universe who was trying to take over ours. The game worked like a television so that we could see how everything was on his universe. 
his universe was protected by a pain day gang. Seven persons, each one of them, characters from the game that we all loved but sick twisted. All of them were like Dallas the Dollar Grabber, or should I say, Rebarg, Rolad, and Salad. As the Dallas was the complete opposite of what our Dallas was like, so the name seems pretty appropriate. I went to sleep. Chapter 4 Stretchy Arms Another day, another nightmare. My computer was erect or turned on, and Pain Day 2 was on. I nearly shat myself yet again when I saw the title. Wolf's disembodied head was hyper-realistic as well. And another letter appeared next to the G. An O. Could this game be the work of the Illuminati? A weapon that could kill anything in terrible ways like this. It has Illuminati written all over it, with a hyper-realistic red sharpie. I plan on taking my own life soon enough, but as I have no choice, I chose murder, and moved on to the third and hopefully last heist, Stretchy Arms Workout. It only made sense Salad would leave Jacket for last. I played Hotline Miami and knew how much of a badass he was. Salad wanted a challenge, and he hoped Jacket would be one. This time... It was Go Bank, and I all I had to do was kill all the civilians in the map. And then I won already. It was incredibly easy as Dallas's, or should I say Salad's pimp-ass gun, was incredibly overpowered. After I was done with it, Salad's killed Jacket and skull-fucked him in the ass. Another one of my friends dead. This time, a bit of a sociopathic one. I chose yet another payday card, and yet another one of my friends died, but the payday card. I did not see that one coming. It read, You're next. I went to sleep. Final chapter. Upstanding Citizen You. I woke up and the computer was on. I nearly shit myself, blah blah blah, you know how the story. Blah blah, hyperrealism blah. What, what did interest me though, was the new letter in the menu. D. It spelled out God with an arrow pointing towards salads. It all made sense now. Why all this mindless killing skull fucking was leading up to. Salads was trying to prove himself as a god killing every one of his crew members and taking his universe over all for himself. He was a demon toying with his little pets, like the demon he is, and I must kill him if I can. I'll try. Pray for me. Anyways, I had no choice, so I picked murder and went to what had to be the last heist. This time, it was upstanding citizen you. So that's how it is, right? He killed everyone who ever saw him, and now it was my time. I loaded my double-barreled shotgun and magnum and put on some armor as well before I started the heist. This time, the heist was in my neighborhood. I robbed the local bank and won the heist easily. -ly. After this, the breaking point. Static appeared, followed by the most horrifying picture I'd ever seen in my life. I couldn't hold it in anymore. I shit myself. My computer turned off on itself and exploded, and everything was lovely for a short period of time. Then it happened. I was eating salad and talking to my boss when I asked him, Is it time for me to die yet? And he said, Yes. Get your payday right here. I looked down and noticed my salad turned into salad, and then... I died. <laughs> the end. Or is it? Yeah, it's the end.